when we're renovating blackberries, I always advise people to always clean a pruning tool, whatever they happen to use, a knife. And I simply use something akin to uh, Clorox that you can buy. You can mix your own. This simply makes it easy. You can just hold your tool down like that, let it drip. You can simply sling it a time or two. You can use a little uh, cloth and wipe it if you wish. I've already pre-cut the plastic which holds this arm of the fluorocane on here. The fluorocane being what just produced the crop. It's dying now. We have to remove it. So I simply lift this up. I pre-cut it. I simply take it out just like you see. And if I need to, I'll go ahead and make a cut. Just like you see here. Make an upper cut. This is simply removing the spent cane, which is the old cane. Then I simply uh, go all the way down to the bottom. It will be difficult to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to cut this cane right down near the ground. As you can see, I've severed it at the ground. And we will do the same thing with this one. Now, I simply take this cane, once it's loose, and I can simply take the tool, hold on to it. I don't have gloves on. Normally, I would wear gloves, but without scratching very much, uh, I see I've got one tie left here. I simply grab it. I grab it with my tool. I don't get thorns on me. That's a completed process. Now, what, what's left is simply take the primocanes, pull those primocanes up in position, and once we do that, we can tie them in a secure position. This is one of the best here. So what I'll do with it is I'll simply secure it with my plastic. This is plastic tie, polyethylene. It's about a two-year tie. It works great. And that's what you need. I'll simply pull this cane up to the wire, right up against the wire, and I'll take my tie, I'll go around this a time or two with my tie to keep it from slipping, so that it doesn't slip up and down this wire when the wind blows. Then I'll simply pull it up and snug, tie it, and that one's finished. I'll show you what else, the other steps that we do. Now, I need two, one for the bottom wire, one for the top. So uh, this one, is a very good candidate to pull up and I try to space them six or eight inches apart if at all possible. That works uh, that works best. And I simply take this one around as you can see and I'll work it just like this. Break this tape, move it back about where I want it, about six inches away. Make one final tuck with this tape, bring it around secure it. Once I do that, then I'm ready to eliminate the excess canes. And we only need two canes for this system. We call this the T-Pulp system. Uh, trellis production using primacane suppression is what, what that stands for. Now, what I'm going to do here, make sure that I'm not cut, cutting my cane that I've just tied. I come in like this, and I'll take these out. I'm going to take these out. These are simply excess primocanes that aren't needed. Now, I've got one more over here. And when you cut, you just have to be careful not to, to make sure you don't cut the wrong one. I take the leaves off because there's a disease that starts at the bottom, works its way up. If I cut these leaves off, I don't have to worry about that disease. Uh, it's, they generally don't require spray. However, when we get through training these, during the remainder of this summer period, we'll spray once or twice with copper, which is an organic type material, uh, for anthracnose and some of the diseases that would commonly infest new canes. And that's a kind of a standard practice with us. But what I'm doing is I'm leaving about six inches below the wire of foliage. Now, if this cane were short down here, I wouldn't take these leaves off until the cane was bigger, just like you see right here. Now what happens 
with these is if this cane leans over, it'll start developing basal shoots. Look right here. See this little basal shoot down here? That's undesirable. You don't want branching down here. You want branching up here. So when you go through this process that we're doing today, we simply eliminate all of those. And we're setting these up so we can easily come through here and finish our job of uh, sprouting and controlling the growth of the plant. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm trying to clear this away so you can see what we've done. And we've cut off the old canes, the old floor canes. We've allowed two of the new primary canes to remain. We've spaced them out six inches apart. We've left all the foliage six inches below and all the way up. If I see anything coming here, I can take my hand and I can break that little shoot out just like that. Now I'm going to leave some of these because I want branches possibly here and I'll take this one up to the top wire. So one of them will branch on the bottom wire by cutting it right here. When, when, uh, probably about another week we would cut this off. I'd let this one grow and when it got up to additional height above this top wire, we'd cut it off the same way, about an inch and a half above the wire. And then we would branch it and run it along. And other than the sprays, we fertilize this with calcium nitrate, usually two to four ounces per plant. It does a beautiful job. They really push.